Guys, this is dark and it has huge mass and it's small. That's three smoking guns right there, implicating a supermassive black hole. Space can be scary to think about. The dangers that lurk within the vast expanse of space can be terrifying. And while this applies to the entire concept of space exploration, the one part of it that has always been intriguing and terrifying at the same time has been black holes. These beasts of power have been the subject of countless researches all across the globe. Scientists have been trying to figure out just what black holes really are and what lies in them. But all of that changes now. Neil deGrasse Tyson just revealed something huge. Our black hole is less massive than the one in the center of the Andromeda galaxy, our nearest big galaxy. So we have black hole envy. I think we do. We finally see what's inside a black hole and, well, all of it might just blow your mind. So, join us as we take you on this intergalactic journey and answer one of history's most asked questions. What is a black hole? Created from a massive explosion, the black hole's mass is concentrated in an incredibly small region, creating a gravitational force so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Once something is in there, it's going to stay in there forever. These forces of energy come in various sizes, ranging from stellar black holes, which can be a few times the mass of the sun, to supermassive ones that exist at the centers of galaxies and can have millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun. Scientists have observed the effects of black holes indirectly for decades now, and with every piece of data, we uncover hundreds of secrets. Even though it seems like they're so massive and powerful that they can't possibly have an origin story, they do. Black holes don't just exist in space. They're created. They need the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel to be born. These stars undergo a supernova explosion, a spectacular event that marks the end of their lives. During a supernova, the outer layers of the star are violently expelled into space while the core undergoes gravitational collapse. But not all collapses are the same. If the core's mass is several times larger than that of our sun, the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces, causing the core to collapse inward. This collapse is so intense that it compresses the mass into an incredibly small volume, creating an object with a gravitational field so powerful that nothing will be able to escape its grasp, thus creating a black hole. The size of a black hole is determined by its mass. Stellar black holes, which are the most commonly known type, have a mass range from a few times to several tens of times that of our sun. At the core of a black hole lies the singularity, a region of infinite density and space-time curvature. According to our current understanding of physics, the laws of nature break down at this point, and our conventional theories cannot fully explain what happens within the singularity. To truly understand the nature of singularities, we would need to think outside the box a little. In the world of physics, a singularity refers to a point in space-time where certain quantities become infinite or undefined. These singularities appear in various theoretical contexts, such as at the beginning of an expanding universe, which is commonly known as the Big Bang singularity, and within the inside of black holes. When we study the Big Bang singularity, a fundamental challenge comes forward. According to the theory, the universe originated from an extremely hot and dense state about 13.8 billion years ago. But as we rewind time toward this initial state, the equations of general relativity, which govern the behavior of gravity, break down. This breakdown implies that our current understanding of physics cannot fully describe the conditions at the moment of the Big Bang. Resolving this issue requires a theory that combines general relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics. You see, black holes contain singularities at their cores. These are regions where the gravitational pull becomes infinitely strong and space-time is highly curved. According to general relativity, matter and energy that fall into a black hole reach its singularity and become infinitely compressed. This concept, too, is beyond our concepts of physics. Adding to the problem here, the challenge of singularities has motivated scientists to search for a theory of quantum gravity, which aims to unify the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics once and for all. So, there's at least a little bit of clarity here. Quantum gravity seeks to provide a framework that accounts for the behavior of space-time on both cosmic and subatomic scales. A theory like this could potentially offer insights into the nature of singularities and how the universe really works. One approach to addressing the issue of singularities is the theory of loop quantum gravity. 
This theory suggests that at extremely small scales, spacetime is quantized, meaning it consists of discrete indivisible units everywhere. These fundamental units are often referred to as loops or spin networks. In loop quantum gravity, the concept of quantization is applied to spacetime itself. This means that spacetime isn't considered as a continuous and infinitely divisible entity, but rather as a collection of discrete elements. These discrete units of spacetime are often seen as interconnected loops or networks that represent the underlying structure of the fabric of the universe. Within the framework of loop quantum gravity, singularities associated with black holes and the Big Bang could be resolved. One of the key insights of this theory is that at extremely small scales, the discrete nature of spacetime prevents the occurrence of infinite densities and curvatures that give rise to singularities. In classical general relativity, for example, in the context of black holes, loop quantum gravity suggests that as matter collapses toward the core, the spacetime fabric becomes increasingly tiny. This size prevents the matter from reaching an infinitely dense singularity. Instead, the collapsing matter encounters a quantum bounce near the core, where it rebounds and begins to expand again. This scenario leads to the formation of a new spacetime region inside the black hole, often referred to as a quantum black hole or a bounce region. Stellar black holes are the most commonly observed type of black hole in the universe. As we've briefly touched upon earlier in this video, they are formed through gravitational collapse at the end of a massive star's life. The way all of this works is, once a massive star exhausts all its nuclear fuel, the outward pressure generated by nuclear reactions can no longer counteract the force of gravity pulling inward. The gravitational force becomes dominant, causing the star to collapse under its own weight. This collapse results in the formation of a stellar black hole. But as the star collapses, it becomes incredibly compact, packing a significant amount of mass into a very small volume. As a result, Stellar black holes typically have a mass ranging from a few times to about 20 times that of the Sun. Although, despite their mass, they have remarkably small sizes. Their diameter is only a few kilometers, which just goes to show how extremely dense they are. The immense density of a stellar black hole leads to the formation of an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. This event horizon marks the point of no return, where the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes so strong that any object or information that crosses it is trapped forever within the black hole. Then we've got intermediate mass black holes. While the precise mass range for intermediate mass black holes is still something scientists need to put through more research and refinement, they are generally thought to have masses ranging from thousands to tens of thousands of times that of the sun. These colossal beasts occupy the central regions of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They hold significant gravitational sway over their galactic surroundings and have a profound impact on the evolution of galaxies. The formation of supermassive black holes remains an active area of research and is still not fully understood. But even then, lots of different theories have been proposed to explain their origins. One prominent hypothesis suggests that supermassive black holes evolve from smaller black holes through a process called accretion. According to this idea, as matter such as gas, dust, and stars accumulates around a black hole, it forms a swirling disk known as an accretion disk. The black hole's immense gravitational pull draws material from this disk, causing it to spiral inward and ultimately merge with the black hole over vast periods of time. This continuous accretion of matter allows the black hole to grow to a supermassive scale. During the accretion process, enormous amounts of gravitational potential energy are released as the matter falls into the black hole. This released energy powers some of the brightest and most powerful phenomena in the universe. But away from all of that are charged black holes, which represent a fascinating variation of black holes characterized by the presence of an electric charge. There are two main types of charged black holes, Reissner-Nordstrom black holes and Kernuman black holes. Each type exhibits distinct properties that are formed from the relationship between the black hole's charge and other factors such as rotation. Reissner-Nordstrom black holes are charged but non-rotating. They are described by the Reissner-Nordstrom solution in the framework of general relativity. The charge of these black holes affects the behavior of their gravitational field. However, in terms of their overall structure, Reissner-Nordstrom black holes are similar to uncharged black holes. They possess an event horizon, 
but the size of the event horizon for a Reissner Nordstrom black hole depends on both its mass and electric charge. On the other hand, Kernuman black holes are charged and rotating. They are described by the Kernuman solution in general relativity. The combination of electric charge and rotation introduces unique phenomena associated with these black holes. The charge of a Kernuman black hole alters the properties of its event horizon and ergosphere, which is a region of spacetime near the black hole where the rotational energy of the black hole is converted into energy of the surrounding medium. Despite these differences, both types of charged black holes remain hypothetical in nature and have yet to be definitively observed in the universe. Now, I realize this sounds like it's for the History Channel, but stay with me. There are more fun facts about black holes. Although black holes are known for their immense gravitational pull, they do not actively suck things into them like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. In fact, black holes only exert their gravitational influence on objects that come within a certain distance of them. This distance is known as the Schwarzschild radius, which marks the boundary of the black hole's event horizon. Any object that crosses the event horizon is irretrievably drawn into the black hole. However, objects that are far enough away from a black hole will not be affected by its gravitational pull. They will follow their normal paths through space without being drawn toward the black hole. This idea might be of a journey that I have ever said. Black holes continue to captivate scientists and the public alike, not only because of their mysterious nature, but also due to their profound implications for our understanding of the universe. One of the most intriguing aspects of black holes is their gravitational influence. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so intense that it affects not only nearby objects but also the fabric of spacetime itself. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, massive objects like black holes warp spacetime. This warping causes objects to move along curved paths, which we perceive as gravitational attraction. Near a black hole, spacetime curvature becomes extreme leading to bizarre phenomena such as time dilation and gravitational lensing. Time dilation occurs because gravity warps the passage of time itself. For an observer far from a black hole, time appears to pass normally. However, closer to the black hole's event horizon, time slows down significantly. This effect has been observed and verified by comparing clocks at different distances from massive objects like Earth and even the Sun. Gravitational lensing is another consequence of spacetime curvature around black holes. When light from distant stars or galaxies passes near a black hole, its path bends due to the gravitational field. This bending can magnify or distort the appearance of the light source, creating visual illusions that astronomers use to study distant objects and confirm the presence of black holes. Recent advancements in observational astronomy have provided compelling evidence for the existence of black holes across the universe. One of the most significant breakthroughs was the direct imaging of a black hole's shadow in the center of the galaxy M87 by the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT. This groundbreaking achievement provided a visual confirmation of theoretical predictions and offered new insights into the behavior of black holes. Black holes are also crucial for understanding the evolution of galaxies. Supermassive black holes, which reside at the centers of most galaxies, play a pivotal role in regulating star formation and galaxy growth. The intense radiation emitted from accretion disks around these black holes can heat and ionize surrounding gas, influencing the formation of new stars and shaping the galactic environment. The formation of supermassive black holes remains a topic of active research. While accretion of matter is one plausible mechanism for their growth, Alternative scenarios such as direct collapse of massive gas clouds or mergers of smaller black holes may also contribute to their formation. Understanding these processes is essential for unraveling the cosmic history of galaxies and black holes. In addition to their gravitational effects, black holes are also associated with some of the most energetic phenomena in the universe. Accretion processes near black holes release enormous amounts of energy in the form of X-rays and gamma rays. These high-energy emissions can outshine entire galaxies and provide valuable clues about the physics of extreme environments. The study of black holes has profound implications for fundamental physics, including the search for a theory of quantum gravity. At the heart of a black hole lies a singularity, where current theories of general relativity break down. Singularities are points of infinite density and curvature, 
indicating the limitations of our current understanding of spacetime and matter. Quantum mechanics offers a potential framework for addressing the nature of singularities and the behavior of matter at microscopic scales. Quantum gravity theories, such as loop quantum gravity and string theory, seek to reconcile the principles of quantum mechanics with general relativity and provide a unified description of gravity at all scales. Loop quantum gravity proposes that spacetime itself is quantized, consisting of discrete units or quanta. These units, known as spin networks, form the fabric of spacetime and may prevent the formation of singularities inside black holes. Instead of a point of infinite density, matter collapsing towards the core of a black hole could encounter a quantum bounce, leading to the formation of a new spacetime region. String theory, on the other hand, suggests that fundamental particles are not point-like but rather tiny vibrating strings. This theory proposes additional spatial dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Black holes and string theory are studied through the lens of holography, which posits a correspondence between gravitational phenomena in higher dimensional spaces and quantum field theory in lower dimensional spaces. The quest for a theory of quantum gravity is closely tied to experiments and observations that can test these theoretical frameworks. Advanced detectors, such as gravitational wave observatories like LIGO and Virgo, are searching for signals from black hole mergers and other cataclysmic events that could provide insights into the nature of gravity at extreme scales. Beyond their scientific significance, black holes have captured the imagination of artists, writers, and filmmakers inspiring countless works of fiction and speculation about the nature of space and time. From science fiction novels to blockbuster movies, black holes continue to fuel our curiosity and challenge our understanding of the universe's most enigmatic phenomena. In conclusion, black holes represent one of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the cosmos. Their extreme gravitational pull, exotic properties, and profound implications for physics and astronomy make them a subject of intense scientific study and public fascination. As our technology and understanding of the universe continue to advance, black holes will undoubtedly remain a focal point for exploration and discovery in the quest to unravel the secrets of the cosmos.